We're back, and I'm with Darcy Tucker. Darcy, obviously you've been on fire recently. Big game-winning goal tonight. What is it that's working for you right now? It's all about the beats. The beats, the hip-hop music. You're playing in the dressing room. No, beet juice. I get it shipped in from this little town in the prairies. Mercy Beat Company. So you could say this is a drink that can't be beat. No, it is beat. No, no, I'm just saying it's a drink that can't be beat. Are we done yet? Did he say the Mercy Beat Company? Why do these men sweat so much? I own stock in that company. So sweaty. He should cut his hair. Bought in dirt cheap, too. It's going to go through the roof. Might see a temporary upswing. <laughs> a temporary upswing, yes. That's going to buy me a power boat. If I was going to go on TV, I would at least use a towel. What you're talking about is a stock bubble. And if there is one thing we know about bubbles... You're is right. They just get bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Can you believe that? Foolish man. <laughs> Do you think if I bought in now, I could get a power boat? Hmm? Again? Better. Remember that stock I invested in? Disposable dentures? No. 3D radio? No. Not that lame hydroponic beat farm mom told you not to invest in. Yeah, the Mercy Beat Company is up three points. Thank you, Darcy Tucker. Who's Darcy Tucker? The guy who invented beats? He's a hockey player. He endorsed it yesterday. It's all over the news. Wow, slow news day. Fantastic. I knew this would happen. You knew that a hockey player would be on the news talking about a local beet farm three years after you invested in it. It was one of several scenarios, yes. By the way, let's keep this between you and me. I want to surprise your mother. Surprise her or not tell her at all? Either or. Just semantics. Duncan! I'm going to Fathomas for lunch. Could you lend me a couple of bucks? Ah, uh, a little short of cash, huh? Well, it's been a lean Don't moment. have to explain to me. We're all clergy. We're all poor. That's why I'm going to the seniors' home. Rev, you got a few good years left in you. I'm not checking in. I'm just visiting. It's meatloaf day. Hmm? Kid, you are missing out on one of the great perks of the clergy. There is a tradition of holy men going out to preach in exchange for food. The mendicant tradition. Yeah. Mendicant, from the Latin word for mooch. Uh, how often do you get out there? I like to mix it up. Uh, rest homes, weddings, AA meetings. Do you think these seniors would like some spiritual comfort from a different religious perspective? Sorry, kid. You'll have to get your own leads. Fatima, bring me your most expensive item on the menu. Steak and eggs, eight dollars. Oh, how disappointingly reasonable. I take it you have not yet lost your shirt on that beet stock. No, nope, I took your advice. I bought more. I never said that. Oh. I am up a point. Is that new? Yes. When you're an active investor like myself, you need tools to take a picture of my crotch and email it to my entire contact list. Yes, sir, I'm an economist, so heed my warning. Three, predictable things will happen before this stock crashes. Is one of them you trying to ruin my good mood? Firstly, someone will utter the phase, it's not a bubble. It's not a bubble. Check. Secondly, the politicians get involved. Slow down, I can't write this fast. And finally, just moments before the crash, the doctors buy in. Doctors. Highly educated people are quite often fools outside of their area of expertise. You're a highly educated person. Yes, I am. Here you go. That is steak and egg. Blame the chickens. Sarah, I can't find my pizza pocket. Did you look in the fridge? Yeah, it's full of this weird purple stuff. That's beet juice. Beetlejuice? Like the movie with Buster Keaton? Michael Keaton. No, he was Ghostbusters. What is this stuff? It's beet juice. Some hockey players started drinking it, and now everyone is. Maria, 
Really? Mm-hmm. Geez, hockey players grow their hair out in the back. You don't see everyone doing that. Obviously, you haven't taken a good look around Mercy. And this stuff is made here. Yeah, yeah. You know, if this is popular, I want to be associated with it. I want to be Queen Beat. But I thought you hated beats. Everybody loves a winner. You know, this didn't just happen. I made it happen. And the public should know that. Oh, I didn't really make it happen. It just happened. And the public won't find out. Something feels weird about this. It's because instead of doing damage control and trying to recover from a disaster, we're actually trying to get ahead. Bingo. Yes, and before I come down to the showroom to pick it up, could you polish the chrome and fill it with the highest grade of gas that you have? Thank you. Did you just buy a car? Better. I bought a barbecue. Isn't that more different than better? Better for cooking. Barbecue, huh? Guess you're gonna take it home, put it in your backyard, use it to cook stuff. Wow. You really know the ins and outs. Is it a big barbecue? Put it this way. Do the words Magnum 5000 mean anything to you? No, but they do imply a certain kind of bigness. <laughs> do you know that there is a history of spiritual leaders providing religious instruction in Amar, exchange for... would you like to come over for dinner? Yes, please. Today we are on the threshold of opportunity, and that's why I'm 100% behind this beet product and the beet-related industries it will bring to our community. Are beets the future of mercy? It's too early to tell. But the answer is yes. Miss Mayor, can we get a picture of you drinking the beet juice? I'm sorry, I don't quite follow. I mean, actually drinking a glass of the beet juice. There are several of them right there in front of you. Oh, that would have been a good idea. <laughs> well, could we do that now? Well, I don't think we have time. Do we have time? Yeah. Oh, we, we do have time. All right, then. Bottoms up. Oh, yuck. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> that is really bad. Have you tasted this? What a bad product. What a bad, bad product. Oh, you're right. I would rather cut my own head off than drink this stuff. Oh, 